Um, uh, 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 welcome, I, I... everybody, to the Adeptus Ridiculous Book Club. <laughs> Yay! Streamers, <laughs> explosions, that... etc. Is that is that really the entrance you're going with? With your half yawn and me asking if that's the approach? Okay, let's let's do it. This is the book club, right? It's, it's, fuck it, let's let's go. Wow, what, 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 what actually, are we doing today, Bricky? Did you actually just interrupt my intro? Yeah, I did, because I it's very confusing times. That is true. It is confusing times. But what's not confusing is the wonderful, wonderful people at our Patreon over at Adeptus Ridiculous on Patreon. Go ahead, check that out. Get fantastic rewards and fun stuff like that. I'm not as good at this as you, DK. Yo, it's patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous, where you can get access to our Discord, super slick HD posters featuring Boba and abs. It's the great stuff and a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Patreon.com slash Adeptus Ridiculous. Ta talk about the merch, man. No, no, you have to talk about the merch now, too. <laughs> oh, oh, well, if you go to Orchid8.com, you can get some quality, quality Adeptus Ridiculous merch, like Legally Distinct Mechanicus long sleeve shirt that has sick binary on it, or an I'm a tank, I'm a tank uh, hoodie or shirt, or you can get the Adeptus Ridiculous hoodie or shirt in black or white, and Brick is going to have dice before Christmas. Orchid8.com. Hey, Let's go. Let's yeah. go. Let's go. Okay. Today we're talking about our first orc book, Brutal Cunning, which is mm -hmm. uh which we have finished just recently. <laughs> and uh and DK, uh, uh do do give Hi. me your Hi. your first impressions of the book. It's an amusing book, I think. Whenever you follow around the orcs, it's amusing. It's not the most perfect book ever like i don't think it's the best book that we've read maybe may, maybe the most hilarious though because you get so many orc shenanigans so i do I, I do think it's up there uh the I, orc the orc shenanigans are very very funny and good mm -hmm. um i might say that if in the divine might be more humorous um but it's because the humor is nicely spread out throughout the entire yeah. book. I feel like this book is the orcs are so funny, and then you get to blank slate ad mech, and they are yep. very boring. I I have indeed been saying that all week. And I think you're right. Infinite and the Divine. It is much more. It, it's much more evened out. Like it's it's more consistent. Whereas Brutal Cunning, it's just you get the amusing orcs, and then it's like deadpan ad mech and it's like oh come on i want to get back to old thack come on so yeah so our story overall is on a forge world called a hephaestin or a Faceton, and the orcs a face stow sorry a face stow we both got it uh, <laughs> yeah it's all right it wasn't the most important part yeah. um forge world called a face stow and we got a big orc wah coming led by two particular groups you've got the bad moons and mm -hmm. big mech the the, the mech lord the mech lord that's his name well that's right. the mech lord is the bad moons right right so bad like okay bad gotcha. moons led by the mech lord and right. there's also a bunch of others like there's squid uh snake bites and all of them but mm -hmm. speed freaks etc evil sons and then there's the other group which is done by captain bad rook <laughs> of the free buddhas yep the uh, free buddhas this... he's a pirate he's a pirate he talks he's like a, a pirate. pirate i talk Ooh. like a like some pirate don't i <laughs> he, uh he arguably has the best entrance in the entire book <laughs> where he just teleports randomly onto the big mech ship and he's like ta-da ta -da! <laughs> here i am yep he's... it's uh pretty wonderful and the yeah. orc's job is to crump some Crump some Yumi's. Yep, and get the loot. You gotta crump get, the Yumi's and get the loot. Get the loot. And we get follow the... around Uftak, which is uh, one of the knobs, as mm -hmm. well as his little little group of other orcs. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> we have Grot Nizquick, um, yep. Squig Princess, which is wonderful. <laughs> and um, I forget his buddy's name. Uh... uh is is it the guy on the wheel? Because that's the boffin. No, the boffin is the the techie boy. Uh, the other. Oh, that's one, true. You're he, right. You're right. His other buddy, who's like. Oh, wacky. oh, 
shit, you're right. Uh, it started with an M. Um, Moss Cross? Oh, no, but I know who you're talking about. Shit, he, he follows him around everywhere, and ah, oh, God, it's driving it, me wait. insane that I can't remember what his name is. Was it not Mosgrot or like Mo- Moz something? Was it Mosgrot? Uh, sure, it's Mosgrot. Whatever, that sounds right. All right, yeah. We'll he, just he, doesn't have a whole, he doesn't have a whole lot to do. He's just kind of his yeah. little lackey. Yeah. Um, and during this period of time, the ad mech on the planets are attempting to deal with the Xenos threat. <laughs> However, they are they have a significant amount of infighting. Yeah, and they're, don't they're so know, stupid. And well... I would call them stupid. I would call them. I would call them. Uh, well, they they do have a problem with yeah. the the situation happening, but they're it's very much a wonderful. Oh God. Um. Oh God. These names: Zepha Varaz, Lexico Arcanus, <sighs> Viker yep. Yavanos, Grand Janitor, Capothenis Ul, Forge Lord, and all serving under Ron Rule Ilutar, Prime Hermeticon, Tech Priest Dominus, and. Secutor Miranda, or Miranda. Yeah, how Matranda. could you forget Matranda? She was the Ma- best. She was Matranda's a- the only admin character I gave a fucking shit about. She was so hard, dude. Oh my god. Oh, they. Sorry, you're they. right. Sorry, they. They. You're right. I, uh, Admex I kept, are. Yeah. Yes. Well. Well. She. Per- uh, fuck. They particularly uh, was were stated as as uh, without a gender. Um, I guess I kind of always thought they were she because the VA did a slightly higher voice and yeah. their name sounds a lot like Miranda. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's an e- it's an easy mistake to make, but we'll uh, we'll try not to make the mistake again. But yeah, Miranda, Miranda was Matranda. it though. Matranda was it. Like whenever Matranda it was, was badass. If you had to suffer through the Admech parts, it's like well, at least it's Matranda, and and at least she is fucking up some orcs. Uh, she she's a badass. They are a badass. Jesus, Matranda is is absolutely one of the uh, one of the best highlights of the Admex stuff. Um, mm-hmm. unfortunately, that that really is well. It's it's like one of those things where the Admex is kind of there to prove a point. It's <laughs> let's take this this faction that is extraordinarily logical and takes everything with logic and pit them against an illogical enemy. Right? Yeah, that's their <laughs> whole shtick. Yeah. And I I do get that, but there were so many opportunities for them to at least course correct, because you might not be able to plan and know what to expect from something as illogical as orcs. But I think it was Zepha or Matranda that were like, okay, guys, (laughs) I don't know if you noticed this, but our plan isn't working. Uh, I know you thought you could get the Orc Wa to go down the little path that you want them to, and you could ambush them and destroy them, but you clearly can't, and it's clearly not working. We should probably do something else. We should probably, I don't know, uh, evacuate the Forge world so we don't lose all the technology that we have. Uh, and they were still like, nah, we got this. It's fu- No, we'll... And it's just... Uh... Come like at some point, logic dictates that a new course of action needs to be taken, right? And they just refused, and it was so infuriating. Well, you gotta a couple things you gotta remember. One, they obviously see themselves as massively superior to the yeah, orcs. Obviously. Um, two, I guess they don't they don't really understand the orcs, so they don't know what they're capable of. Well, and yeah. also, it's hard to think like an ad mech. Where, like, leaving all this kind of stuff, leaving all this tech, because you can't take it all. Like, leave True. this, because the only thing they care about is knowledge, right? The pursuit of knowledge. That's the whole yeah. thing. And leaving anything is, like, a sin. Yeah. And so it's, like, it's like anathema to them as, as Admech. Um, yeah. But also, there was a little bit of this other problem where... <laughs> uh, yeah. You got this this other issue of Dark Mechanicus brooding about. Yeah, you have uh, Gav- Gavric Dalen. Gavric is, is... Dalen, Iron Warrior Warpsmith. Yeah, I I didn't know what a Warpsmith was before this book. I didn't realize that was a thing that they just, hey, yeah, I'm just going to go into the warp and call me a demon. And it's like, oh, okay. Didn't realize you could do that, but cool, cool. I don't think you have to be a warp smith in particular for that, but it, like in 
in the regular like normal marines you've mm -hmm. got uh tech marines which are marines that fix shit and stuff like that this is just kind of like a chaos corrupted tech marine that also is does warp oh, shit oh okay and uh, he he comes out of his little hovel because he um Oh, what, uh, what's Notice Prime? Is Notice Prime just like that network that they're all connected to? Is that what I'm... Oh, the the new sphere. Yeah, is that just like the, the little uh, info internet thing that they're all connected to or something? I always assume the new sphere was just kind of like internet. Okay, like that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, and he uh, he noticed a real weird signal, and uh, he tried to trace it, and it disappeared, and he was like, well... Guess I better come out of hiding and see what that is, because that looks real interesting, and and that's how that's how he makes his like grand entrance, and that's why he comes out of hiding from doing all of his shady dark mechanicum shit, right? I, I believe something like that. He was also like, mm, "There's an alien artifact. I'm curious." Yeah, well, you that know, was the signal, know, the, right? Was the yeah. was the alien artifact calling to him or something? You know, there were a lot of of parts near the end of the book that weren't really answered that bugged me a little bit. Uh, for example, yeah. I don't know what that artifact was. We never found Th out. I was about to ask, like, w was I supposed to know what that artifact was? Because it sounded trippy as hell, and it was strong enough to get him out of hiding when he was literally making a demon engine. Uh, so I was like, this thing's got to be important. And, 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 like, when they never told us what it was, I was like, okay, I either misread something or this is already, like, a really big established artifact that I'm supposed to have prior knowledge on. And, yeah, nothing ever was... came of it, did it? Like, they just put no. it in a crate and took it away. I thought it was Necron stuff for a bit because they said it wasn't Eldar, and it sure as shit was an Orcs. Mm -hmm. And high-tech uh, high tech alien stuff, I doubt it was Tau. So yeah. I assumed it would be some kind of Necron stuff. But, I, yeah, I was also about to say, like, like, like the other um, uh, Zepha was just like you two people are heretics, and she shoots both of them. Yeah, and we don't and we don't even know if they were heretics or not. But then it just ended up with Badrook and Uftak be like first one to kill their Humi first yeah. wins. I, th I, I think she was just trying to because they wouldn't leave. Like they were like, no, we 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 can't leave. What are you talking about? You're crazy. You're crazy. And uh, I think Zepha was just trying to be like, you know what, fine, whatever. Uh, we need to go. You're a heretic for trying to stop us. Hey, everybody, look at them doing their hair. And uh, I think it was just an excuse to shoot them and get the fuck out of there. I don't know oh, if yeah, they were I don't, actually I don't think heretical. they were heretics. Yeah, yeah. It was just an excuse I, I, to be like, yeah. all right, we're on the ship. We're leaving them behind because they're heretics. Because no Cause one's they're, ever they're lied gonna... about someone being a heretic, right? Because we're all going to die if we if we don't leave now and they're slowing mm -hmm. us down. Yeah, they were just incompetent because they wanted to they wanted to save all of the ships or something. They didn't want to flee because they wanted to save all of their shit because all their shit was on like a different shuttle or something. And they were like, hey, no, save our shit. This shuttle doesn't matter. Get back here. Yeah, they would have they would have a million percent gotten absolutely fucking dunked on if they stayed. Yeah, the, honestly, honestly, it's kind of strange to see two of the major admin characters just get shot left for dead without another voice of dialogue and then just get their <laughs> ass beat by orcs. They put up a good fight, to be fair. Considering they, they had just been shot, they put up a really good fight, actually. They they did. He was, he was fucking oof-tack up. He was, he was got all yeah. of the weird spindly bits and, and mechadendrites and stabby boys mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff, yeah. but the yeah, that that's all the like all the admex stuff is just it's it's really really not that interesting. Like the, it was, yeah. it's a great it's a great like um, contrast to the orcs, but we needed oh, yeah. more orcs. Like I don't think we needed the whole demon engine side plot. Yeah, probably not. I mean. I'm trying to think what the demon engine really did. I mean, all it did was, was uh, show you that, uh, what is it, Yule? Yule? What was his name? Uh, yeah, Capathen is old. The Forge Lord uh, was susceptible to falling to the whims of chaos. Yeah, that that's like really it? I, I can't yeah. think of another major reason for his existence. Yeah, because when they were having like their first big get together, he was like, "Hey guys, I've 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 got this thing that'll totally fuck up the orcs. Trust me. Look, here are the not blueprints for a not demon engine." And everyone's like, "No, you're insane. Get out of here, you fucking dummy." Um, 
So yeah, his only purpose is to fall to chaos and make a demon engine. Yeah, a lot of it does seem like it's set up for a sequel, but is is there a sequel? I don't, not that I know of. Uh, also, what does that demon engine look like? Was that supposed to be a, like, should I? Because it demon, sounded demon really engines, cool. Demon engines never have a, a particular set look. Um, ah, the okay. ones that we have on the tabletop are very much just, it's an idea. Uh, yeah. I kind of thought it was a little bit like a corn lord of skulls, but it had feet and it had a lot of mechatendroids uh, or mechatendrils and stuff. And so it's just yeah. a big walking monstrosity. They're always a little bit weird. Yeah, I kind of pictured it as like uh, like a big... That's the one! I kind of pictured it like a mauler fiend. That's what I... Because it had that really long... They were describing its really long neck, and it had kind of like that reptilian mouth, and it had a shitload of mechadendrites, and I... Yeah. Uh, a little yeah. combination of the two. I know they said they had like the back legs split into like two more legs or something. Yeah. And yeah. It, it's it's odd, but regardless of the reason, it, it's yeah they're always a little bit fucked up because it's like a demon inhabiting it. Mm -hmm. Um, but really, that's that's all like this is all it's all semantics just for us to get the orcs into different places. Pretty much all <laughs> the admex stuff is to just get the orcs to do other orc things. Yeah. Um, which is the like for example, uh, hey, we're gonna follow these these Titan princeps as they get their Titan out. <laughs> and, and do all their rights and, and just to watch them immediately get slapped <laughs> so hard. <laughs> they they pretty much got immediately fucked, yeah. And you do follow them through their whole process and like, oh yeah, this is just a normal day. Let's show these Xeno scum who's boss. Insta fucked. Mega Gargant shows up, dunks on them. Although the way uh Uftak gets into uh that one Titan was pretty amusing. Um, it, it's I'm I have never seen Imperial Titans get this fucked before in my life. <laughs> I am I am shocked that they that they died this fast. Yeah, Shia said, "Who's gonna win? Two green boys and a rusty cart, or a thousand year old warlord Titan?" Funny thing, like, it's the two green boys and the rusty cart. Like, dude, dude warlord Titans are enormous. Yes, they are. They are um, enormous, and yep. I and then they just ran in, jumped on top of it, and started beating the shit out of its face. Yeah, and they and they got in, and then they just started wrecking shop. What was it that they? How did they teleport through the shield? Uh, they took the cart, and then they. Uh so they ran something called a shock jump dragsta. Right, and, and that's what it jump, was. Shock jump dragsta can teleport around the place, even in the, the tabletop game. Uh, but if you mess up, you might take damage because, of course, of course. Um, orcs. But so That's what they do right. is they accelerate to a speed, hit the button. And as he say, it's like a whole world seems so stretchy and full of teeth, which is obviously <laughs> the warp. Yep. yep. Um, and then he just so happened to appear inside the void shield of the Titan with a very lucky dash. <laughs> Very lucky. That's right, because he was like, oh yeah, once you hit the right speed, hit the button, and then everything goes crazy. It's like, what if we're not going fast enough? I'm like, I don't Blow know. <laughs> Sometimes it blows <laughs> up even if you are going fast enough. Oh, orcs. Uh, that, that's orc technology. Yep. The Humies ain't logical. <laughs> yep. And when they got into that Titan, we also uh, we also get our introduction to uh, Ulfthax Squig. And how his squig gets its name. Yes, so so Ulf, Ulftak's uh, posse, we got Mozgrot, whatever his name was, his um, mm -hmm. his buddy. And then then Nisquik is a grot that's being chased by a squig the entire <laughs> entire goddamn book. Yep. And Hold and on. then he just grabs the grot and he's like, can you, do you know how to drive this? And he's like, yes, boss. <laughs> yes, and boss. The entire time they have the squig and the squig just keeps on trying to eat him. <laughs> and then, instead, the squig jumps in and bites the titan princeps. The princeps, yep. Princeps, yep, yep. like, wh wh what is this human? He's like, pri pri yeah, because because princeps <laughs> written on the wall, right? <laughs> yeah. And he tries to read it, and he's prince, it, prin princess. It was a princess. You ought to be named after what you eat. So he named the squig Princess because he couldn't read Princept. 
It's it's actually it's actually wonderful. It is such yep. a cute little cute little idea, and I, I I kind of adore it. I I also love the fact that Orthak at some point in the book was like, "Yeah, I consider myself a pretty smart orc when it comes to counting. Makes it all the way up to five. <laughs> and it's like, oh god, it, things get a little bit tough after that. But you <laughs> yeah, know. things get a little tough after that. But I'm gonna get all whipped. I'm a pretty smart orc." I, I oh. like I like how he did this the whole thing. It's like everyone knows you don't need Hugh me thinking to throw a stick bomb. He just <laughs> pulled the pen and let Gork and Mork figure it out. <laughs> Amen's for cowards. I love every time someone's like, Oi oh, boss, that's some really sneaky blood axe thinking and he's <laughs> and he like so You're mad. trying a thin line there, <laughs> <Yeah>. runt. <laughs> Oh, I know. so pissed. <laughs> they get so pissed when they consider them blood axes. I don't have plan. Fucking in for a good crump. Uh, I, 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 I didn't actually look at the cover of Brutal Cunning for a bit. I didn't notice Nisquick in the back. Oh, yeah, because on, uh, I was listening on Audible, and it's it's all, pretty much all you see is Ulfthak and uh, Princess. You don't really see the back there, but yeah, he is just kind of floating around back there. Yeah, right they got, you got Captain Bad Ruck in the back. Captain Bad Ruck, Captain Bad Ruck. I love that when they were approaching the planet, they were like, oh, if they didn't want us stealing from this planet, would they make it so shiny? <laughs> I, I <laughs> Hello? Love <laughs> I absolutely love Orc, Orc, Orc just thought process. Mm-hmm. It is. It's, ju it's just wonderful. I, lo I love how they, they rationalize everything. Yep. It's so it's, silly. These humans don't want a good scrap. They're always looking to run away. It's like, if I, was a, if I was a humi, where would I hide the best stuff? Like, well, you'd probably be protecting the best stuff. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Goes I'd be running away. Stuff. Oh, they did. They's probably running away with the loot. Because they cowards and they don't want good scrapes. I think it's funny because they say shit like this all the time and they're commonly right. Yeah, actually they are. I mean they're, they're, they're commonly like, oh yeah, they're actually gonna go like they are actually running away with the loot. And like, oh yeah. we gotta go get them. Yeah, we need to figure out where their shuttles are and we need to figure out where they're running away from and where all the good stuff is. Yeah, um, he used cowardly grot thinking to understand <laughs> human thinking. Well, there was um at some point, I believe Ulfak tries to conceive of how, uh, or like why Grotz are so annoying, and he's like, "Oh yeah, Grotz is like humies that they made real small and turned green, and that's why they's always running away and so weak." Something like that, yeah. Yeah, like he, he compares Grotz to little mini humans that are painted green because they're so cowardly and dumb. I, I really enjoyed scrape. the. Um... I really enjoyed some of the uh, some of the back and forth when he's like fighting. Uh, okay, actually, one thing that I thought was interesting is that despite orcs being so funny and all of me and very memey, um, mm -hmm. I kind of liked how the book really showed them being pretty horribly brutal. Oh um, yes, like they're 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 fucking like savages. They they are. It's kind of terror. If you looked at the book from the humans' perspective, fighting the orcs, it's fucking horrifying. Oh yeah, oh they're definitely. like getting their heads ripped off and like their limbs severed and yeah. and, and getting like eaten and beat yeah. to death and it's like it's pretty fucked. Yeah, and then you look at it from the orc perspective, they're just looking for a good scrape. You're looking, I'm just here for a good scrape, mate. Yeah, it's the but they're saying that, but at the same time they're just yeah they're just like slaughtering so brutal. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uftuk bites the head off a guy. One of the Admec boys. Oh, that's right. He does. Like, he holds him real close, and he just... Oh, God, I forgot about that. That's that's towards the beginning. That's, like, when he first makes landfall, almost, right? Uh, it's, like, in the first third of the book or something, yeah. Yeah. Oof. It's it's really nuts. I also yeah. I also enjoy every time he, thro he throws the snaz ammo, and then he's <laughs> like, That's mine! None of you touch it! <laughs> in case anyone tries to steal it. It's my snaz ammo! Yeah, he doesn't um, want to go touch the bastard. I was a little... Was was it Ulftak that actually busted his way through the force field? Or was that literally the moment that uh, that one Admec dude lowered the force field to try and get them to all scurry in? Because he wanted to capture him. He wanted to, like, uh, actually capture... Lowered. Okay. 
I so was it like, was just man, kind of a kind of a lucky happenstance. Kind of a, yeah, yeah, happenstance, which is why I was like, "Yep, broke that force field myself." <laughs> yeah. Oh, did you guys see that? He broke the blooming zogging force field. Yep. But yeah, that. I, uh, oh, I, I man, forgot that so you could stupid. actually. I can. I forgot that you could actually run Captain Badruck in game. Yep. Yeah, we've we've um, seen his mini a couple of times. Yeah. I've never seen his rules though. I, as I was looking at the Ripper. Which is his weapon. <laughs> um, it's, it's Can okay. he actually teleport around the field whenever he wants and just go anywhere? Uh, no, he can't. Oh. He does have an ammo grot, though, which is funny. Um, there is an orc stratagem called the teleporter, but that's not the thing, I don't believe. <laughs> you should know do... there's actually a, an orc ability called get the loot. Oh, oh there has to be, right? That's their Hell thing. Like... That's what they Hell want. Yeah. That's... They uh they they steal his teleporter towards the end ish. They steal it. They gank it from him. Um Nizquick snags the teleporter off of his back and he just fucking <laughs> loses his mind. And he has to make a run for it. Uh and then they teleport onto his ship. And Ulfdak's like, Oh, I was gonna hope and a girl would make it. Ulf he was Ulf supposed Ulf to, he was supposed to be left behind, so Badrick had something to let out all his anger on. <laughs> Oftech tried when they landed on the goddamn Titan. He tried to boot him off the Titan, and then he just grabs on the leg and he's like, "Thanks for saving Thanks, me, boss. boss." Yeah, he, he tries so hard to get rid of him, and he just—he's like a bad penny until know, the end. Comes back. Well, and, well, until he, the he end, makes it through it, the end, doesn't he? He he. Well, he lives, but he fucking he fucking drop kicks that man <laughs> across the across like a like a car into a garbage pile. <laughs> Yeah, he just kicks him. <laughs> and he's right. like, ah, I gotta enjoy the finer things yeah. or the small things, right? <laughs> That's right. As he's as he's jetpacking down, he just drops him off and boots his ass into a garbage. <laughs> poor, poor Grot. Poor. He's grot. like, yep. He's just thinking to himself, yep. yep. Gotta enjoy the simple things in life. Because <laughs> Ulftak got himself some. Uh, ha are <laughs> Did we decide what kind of armor that is? It I think. Shy said it was for sure Centurion, but you weren't sure, and I wasn't sure because he calls it Beaky Armor, and apparently orcs call Imperial Space Marines Beakies. I would assume because the the uh, Aquila thing is like a bird, and it's, it's, oh look at that Beaky so, thing. <clears throat> so um, Centurion armor is like Space Marine Space Marine armor. Uh -huh. You you have Space Marine armor in even bigger Space Marine armor. Right. So it, Centurion armor is Space Marine armor to an extent. Mm -hmm. um, it's just like a bigger, chunkier version of it. Now, the writer did model his own Uftak with Centurion armor, but I've oh. never seen Centurion armor ever have a jetpack. And I'm pretty positive because they said Centurion armor, but then they also said Inceptor. And Inceptor hmm. is a version of Gravis armor that has a gigantic uh, jetpack. So either it's some hybrid of the two because Admech is weird, or yeah. they, or it's Inceptor armor because I I honestly don't know because Inceptor armor is the one that has the backpack. So I truly don't know. Yeah, because when I first read it, it was like, oh, we got some beaky arm. I was thinking of the Raven Guard because they literally have the the beak helmet, uh, and it would make sense because like he's got he's got that crazy jetpack, and that's. That's a Raven Guard thing. So I was like, oh, cool. He found some Raven Guard gear. And it was like, no, it's Centurion armor. And I was like, oh, no, I have no idea what the fuck this thing is. I need to ask Bricky about this. Also, I hate to call it the author, but, uh, guy, come on. I know you modeled your own thing, but, uh, he, he, they, they, they ripped the arms off of the armor, dude, because Ulfthak was too fucking buff. His arms are too uh, buff, dude. Come absolutely on. correct, sir. You must create a second Brutal Cunning in order for us to forgive you for this. Mm hmm. Yep. Brutal mm -hmm. Cunning, yep. too. Yep. Cunning harder. Mm. Cun harder? Cun oh, no. Cun oh, boy. Cun that, mm. Cunning and hard. <laughs> cunning brutal is what it needs to be called. There you go. Instead of brutal oh. cunning, the second one is, is uh, cunning brutal. I, li I like cunning and hard, but instead, instead of hard, it's ard because it's orcs. Cunning and ard. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, well, it's like, no. It's like, it's like coming in hard. Like, oh, we're crashing the thing, coming in hard. Sure. Fuck sure. you, man. Sure. Fuck you. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Uh, I know what so I said. 
<laughs> I know what I said, and I said what I said. Uh, so the demon engine was the uh, the demon that they summoned. That's just some random ass demon from the warp. Uh, just a random ass corn demon. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. That's that's. I mean, that's kind of the shtick that Iron Warriors do is like to put demons in demon engines and then use them as their bidding. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, was... Dalen kind of oh. went away, but you know. Yeah, it was kind of cool to get like the perspective and the mindset of an actual like corn demon though. And actually listening, it's like, oh my god, what is, oh no, I have to feel pain in this thing? Shit! Like, I'm not used to this thing, I'm supposed to be immortal, and sure, I'll go back to the warp if this vessel dies, but I have to feel all this pain? This is, st oh, whatever, I'm gonna go fuck up a Mega Gargant. Gonna go fuck up a Mega Gargant. Yeah, <laughs> that's what he does, he, just, he, goes, he goes and he wrecks a Mega Gargant. And all the orcs are befuddled because, oh my god, that's that's the Mega Gargant. How could, he, how the, could he do that? The Mega the, Gargant. The Mega Yeah, that's Demek Lords. Every time they said Demek Lord, I couldn't help but, like, in my head, all I heard was Demeki from Dice Check. That's all oh. I heard. Every time. Demek. So I always, I always pictured Demek Lord with, like, a Braves hat. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> That's anyway, I, I like it. I like it plenty. <laughs> there you go. There's there's a there's a dice check meme for uh for our friends at dice check. Your friends at dice. Everybody's friends at dice check. <laughs> well, um, well, our our good boy, our good boy Mark is uh as as a resident orc man. He does not if he doesn't have oof tack. I'm gonna. He's now disqualified <laughs> from the tournament. <laughs> yep, you have to. You have to make an oof tack. There's not actually an oof tack model, is there? There can't be. No, there's not an attack model. Yeah, you got to make one and then uh, proxy it in for something, right? Yeah, it, it maybe like um, just like a a boss, war boss, something mm. like that. You heard it here, Mark. Now you got to do it. Too yep, bad. Got to do it now. What a what a goddamn shame. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So yeah, now there's a demon engine running all over the place, um, yeah, causing yeah, all it's, kinds it's... of trouble. And he gets to live for a whole total of 10 seconds before <laughs> he dies. <laughs> because, yeah. like I said, everything that happens ad-mech-related is immediately used to let the orcs beat it up. Yep, yep. Uh, I. It was kind of interesting, because uh, what's-his-face's soul was still stuck in there. And the demon was just sort of, like, torturing his soul and making him cower in fear inside the demon engine. Um, which was... Whew, that's... Uh, that sucks well, that, for him. Captain Yule's soul, I think. That is true. The demon engine did kill the Mega Gargant. That is true. It <laughs> didn't kill I, the Mech Lord. Uh, did not kill the Mech Lord. Um, he did kill the Mega Gargant, which which is a cool thing. But then he just got. Then then it's just it's just this, the idea that Uftak is like I'm gonna steal the fucking the Captain Barug ship, take <laughs> yeah. it. Fly it at at the Mega Gargant, shoot everything. Oh no, it has no ammo. And then like, what was it? Nisku was about to press the big red button. It's like, no, that's the eject button. He's like, good enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Elfdag's like, fine, good enough. Pop. Yeah, and then just Wait, pff, they just fly Badrick's ship into the demon engine. And the demon engine falls into a fucking volcano. And and just screams and dies. And yeah. he's got this oh. great idea that um. This really cool concept that like the demon engine saw him physically before he got hit and it's like Yeah. Like I I've I've marked you. Like I, I'm gonna go back to the warp and I'm gonna remember your fucking yeah, face. I'm gonna come back for you. Uh in that sense, Shy did say earlier that it felt like a lot of this was set up for another book. And yeah, it does kind of feel like this is supposed to set up something bigger and something better. Uh well not maybe not necessarily better, but like a bigger battle to come. Uh, also, yeah, the yeah, whole reason the uh, demon engine was on the volcano was I think it made a pact with Gavrin that if it got its demon engine body, it would go into the volcano, uh, hit some generator in there, and the generator would explode the volcano and just absolutely fucking annihilate Hephaesto. Yeah, but at this point, the demon engine was like, oh, Dalen's dead, I don't care, but I do want to cause as much damage as I, as I want. And naturally, oh. going into that thing would cause a lot of damage, so I'm just going to do it anyway. Oh, I thought at some point he said he still wanted to honor the pact because he did have a pretty dope body, and it was well-built, and he did really like it. So I thought he was just like, oh, yeah, I'll, 
Uh, demon, demons are pretty shitty people. I think he, I think he just wanted to cause more pain, and he's like, destroying the volcano will cause pain. Yeah, that 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 sounds like the um, that sounds like the demon thing to do. I'm I'm gonna yeah. go with you on that one. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. the fancy pantsy thing inside the volcano was uh, a thing that was created by an STC, um, to uh, to make like regulation for whatever volcano or whatever. So oh, some fancy okay. STC tech. Um, I wasn't <laughs> exactly sure what it was. I just know that if it if it gets destroyed or taken away. <laughs> Yeah, big, big, big boom. <coughs> or it, it yeah. would stop the the regulation of the volcano from consistently right. doing all of its crap. Right, right. Uh, was it Matranda that uh, destroyed one of the? Um, I don't remember if it was a heat vent or some some device that uh, as soon as as soon as they destroyed it, it just exploded with like lava and killed a shitload of orcs. Yeah, that was uh, that was her. Or, okay, them. Fuck. Yeah, them. Yeah. Matranda Miranda, it's so close, man. It's so close. They are very, very close. But they're they're Admech. They no no flesh, no flesh. All no all no no, no flesh. All on <laughs> what what's 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 in your pants? The will of the Omnissiah. No blood, no skulls. <laughs> wow, that's, that's, that the, there is no blood or skulls now. He's in the fucking <laughs> volcano. Yeah, um, that, but that arguably is my favorite part of the entire book. <laughs> Is is when they're looking at the little STC bad boy, and it's yeah. like Cap Captain, what is like, what do you see? He places a little doodad on it. Bunch of suckers, suckers. <laughs> and he blips out. Uh. That was so funny. It was yep, so funny. Yep. Because afterwards, Badrook was making out like he wasn't even mad at Ulfthak. He was like, "Oh, I can't believe you did that. Oh, I was." Blooming mad at you, and then and then you flew me ship right into the demon. I can't even be mad at that. And uh, and then he and he dupes him, takes the well, big STC and a bunch of not suckers. being mad at him and still fucking around with against him is is two separate things. It's true. That is true. He Orcs is do like to fuck old. around with each other. They will fuck around and find out. Um, they they do. He's there's still plenty of little little shenanigans going on there. Yeah. Like before they go down, uh, Demeclord was like, because they had made a pact that like, oh yeah, we'll 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 kill the humans, we won't kill each other, and we'll all be able to see how much loot we can get. And Demeclord was like, if you think your gun is gonna malfunction and accidentally fire, you, make sure it fires at one of those bad rule kits. Oh, Man, they're st they're, they're, they're still they're still more than willing to kill each other over some loot. So they gotta get dull loot. That's the most important part. Dull loot, yeah. All the loot. They get All some pretty dull fly loot. loot. They get some pretty good loot. You know. They actually do get some pretty good loot. I mean, considering that that Uftak has now some very good loot. Oh yeah, he's got he's got Centurion armor or whatever fucking armor that is. Whatever whatever armor it is. If it's Centurion armor or Gravis armor, it's fine because they're both big ass armor, so it works out. Yeah. Yeah. It's got a nice really? jet pack on it. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's out of fuel now, so. Well, you know, it's an orc. As long as enough of them believe that it's got fuel, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. It'll be fine. It's yeah, it'll be fine. They're orcs. They've got more important things to worry about. Right? Like what? I don't know. Where the next scrap is. Actually, okay, that's very true. You're right. It's good for me, a good crumping. Fucking. You know, it's actually a little tough to talk a ton about this book because it's very much just... Like, the Admech stuff is a little boring, but the Orc stuff is simple. And yeah. so there's not, like, and a lot to And it's not that really long, discuss. either. It's not a super long book. It was only eight-ish hours. And I don't know, everyone's like, eight hours is a long time. Eh. Compared not to, like, for... the Night Lord stuff we, we read, it really wasn't. It was, like, maybe half of a Night Lord's book. Yeah, the last Night Lord's book was, like, 13 hours or something. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, no, I, I really like I really liked Brutal Cunning. I, it's got a couple problems, but I really enjoyed it. Um, mm -hmm. It just has a little bit less to discuss because it's just it's kind of like you got to be there stuff constantly repeating the funny things Orc says. Orc yeah. say just doesn't really it doesn't come off the same. But it's still a really good. I hope that the writer does it again because I think I I think that the writer if he does another Orc book like this, it'll be probably like really really good he'll know what to what to focus on and what not to mm -hmm. yeah because it, it's pretty fun it's pretty great unironically it is. 
if you have any uh, affinity towards the orcs and how amusing they are, this is a good book. You're going to like it. I mean, granted, there's some boring ad mech parts, but, eh, you know, the the orc parts make up for it, I think. Uh, ironically, yeah. I mean, th I, th I do think the the ad mech stuff is kind of needed at times, but there's a little too much of it. Yeah. That's bit, the problem. So there's, there's a little too much. Yeah, definitely. Overall, solid, though. Would recommend. Probably not our favorite book, but... I'd, not I'd, number I'd, one I'd, so far, but we, we've stacked our list so far yeah. pretty hard, though. <laughs> yeah, we have. We, we, I'd we still didn't. give it a, th a thumbs-up recommend, but it's not at the top of the list. If you're an Orcs fan, you've either already read this book or you should immediately because it's very good. The voice acting is excellent. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I, I do have a slight problem with the VA where when he's not talking about Orcs, it almost sounds like he's narrating like a... Um, like like a like a lab you have to do in science class. Oh yeah, like he's trying to be very professorly, and I mean yeah. I guess with the admec that's kind of the vibe they give off because they're oh, wait a you know, scholarly and. This is his first ever VA work, first ever book he ever narrated. Oh wow, that is oh. not bad then. That's pretty impressive. If this is the first one that he's ever done. Not okay, bad. If, that's, if that's the case, then I, I, re I rescind my statement. I mean, he has, he has sent a little luxury at times, but in that case, never mind. All right, so he's pretty yeah. solid. Yeah, 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 especially with the orcs, man. He does a good orc. Uh, he this, is a very good orc. Listening to this book for so long is how I perfected my orc voice. I mean, he he really throws that orc voice well, and, and you got a good yeah. as orc voice, so you get it. <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. Does the, uh, he does the grots very well, too. Um, yes, he has the good, the good high pitch voice. Mars! Yep. Uh, yeah, also, it is uh, one thing, if you listen to the audiobook, unfortunately, he does pronounce it wog. He doesn't pronounce it woo. It was a bit. It was a bit. He does pronounce the gh. Unfortunately, it was a bit ago. I'll give him some. I'll give him some some credit. Yeah. And, and considering how well everything else went, I'm willing. I'm willing to let that slide. I, I'll, I'll. We can brush that under the rug. Eh, minor thing. Completely minor thing. Uh, because everything else he did was so good. The, the rest that of being, his work voices were amazing. So. That being said, uh, I do. I, I. I hate you, and I'll never forgive you. Oh wow! That. Uh, well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Boy, I, I, I was, I was willing to let it go, and Bricky is holding a, a, a blood feud with you. So my grudge will never end. <laughs> You're an orc, and he's got some loot. The grudge will never end. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Little bit. Damn. Damn. Well, with that, I think that might be about it. Yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot else to talk about. I think we uh, yeah, pretty much it's... checked all the boxes. Um, Shia's probably happy because she's like, thank God, I don't have an hour and a half to edit this time. Um, also true. So, yeah. All's yeah. good. Um, yeah, Reeb Rule Cunning, very good choice. Our next book club, we were having a bit of a hard time. We kept on saying yeah. Caiaphas Kane, but we kind of wanted to do the new Necron book, uh, yeah. Twice Dead King. However, we're doing Caiaphas Kane. We're going I to was enjoy it. Hoping, I was kind of hoping you were going to say Twisted King, honestly. I was kind of... But I, 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 do, I, do want, I do want to read Caiaphas Kane. I've heard many good things about Kai, Kai, Caiaphas Kane, Hero of the Imperium. Uh, so it, it was, it, we were going to get a good book regardless, so it's fine. It's fine. Caiaphas yes. Kane. It, it'll be good. I'll be solid. Things will be good. We're good. All right. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for listening and watching. Pleasure having you around, and uh, we'll see you next time. Huh, that, was a, that, was a, that was a very nice, peaceful ending. Yeah. Huh.